and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, and today I am talking about the top 10 scary creatures pulled from the ocean. It's weird, like I really love the ocean, but I'm also terrified of it at the same time. I feel like being on a beach staring out to sea is my happy place, but I also feel like deep down in the ocean amid all of the scary creatures, that would very much be a worrying place for me. Ooh, no. You really do have to take the highs with the lows when it comes to the sea. So before we get into this list, why don't you guys let me know if you love the ocean or if you hate it, or if you've never been, in which case we need to get you there. Make it your goal. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, while you're down there, why don't you leave a thumbs up on this video and share it with a friend that needs to be freaked out by some kind of crazy ocean life today. Again, while you're down there leaving a thumbs up and comment, why don't you check out our description box for links to our most amazing Instagram. Do make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I'm going to be reading out some replies from previous comments that you guys have left. Alright, coming in at number 10, we have Globsters. What is this? I will give you a good five seconds to look and then you can let me know what you think it might be. Nope, the answer isn't a decomposing luck dragon. I don't think so. Anyway, like maybe it actually is though. I kind of tricked you because nobody really knows what this is. This was found ashore in the beach town of San Antonio in the oriental Mindoro region in May 2018. This is in the Philippines. Unidentified washed up sea creatures are referred to as globsters because they're globby and blobby. I don't know. Some people think that it was a whale but the six meter long object was actually covered in white hair which as we know whales are not. A lot of superstitious locals thought it was a bad omen. Local resident Tam Malling said, The big lobster is a sign of something bad coming. Please pray for us. To be honest, if I saw this monster, I'd pretty much start praying too. The less superstitious were simply complaining of the awful smell left by the dead creature. Ugh, I can only imagine. Hands up, arachnophobics. Mm hmm, I see you, I feel you. Maybe you might want to close your eyes at number nine because we have sea spiders. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 and a second helping of no. It seems that spiders aren't just a land thing. I thought the spiders of the sea were crabs, but I was wrong. This particular menace that has been accidentally dragged up from the ocean is the southern ocean giant sea spider. Not to scale. He's big. He's really big. Some fun facts for you, this leggy blonde has organs in its pins, literally. Ugh. And also, something else it literally does, yeah, it sucks the life out of its prey through its legs. No thank you, no. I'm like, just gonna respectfully decline all sea spiders for the rest of my life. It's a choice. Ah, also a choice at number eight, we have peanut worms. Oh my, just when I thought I swore off peanut worms forever, here they are in my video. Get out. Seriously though, I am horrified by these creatures from the deep. The peanut worm is making me feel, I don't know, I feel like uncomfortable isn't really a strong enough word. I would say deeply uncomfortable. Deeply, deeply, deeply uncomfortable. Imagine being the poor soul that pulls one of these up from the ocean. Like seriously, that really is probably more than they bargained for and isn't really safe for work. Look at them flopping around being worms. Do you want to see a bunch of them together? Here you go. I honestly totally get why they're called the peanut worm, but at the same time, can we think of a slightly better name for them? Do you guys want to see one moving? Right, not so bad. Right? Okay, I'm absolutely not here for this. Coming into number seven, we have the pelican eel. No, thank you, no. Like, does he or does he not look like a demon alien from the planet Gulp? I'm really not here for an eel in general, but a pelican eel? Ugh. This here chappy bob is a deep sea fish rarely seen by humans, but is sometimes hauled up by deep sea fishing efforts. Imagine bringing one of these to the surface, like ah. Some facts you need to know about this sea beastie, the last one you're actually going to love. Firstly, it likes to whip its tail back and forth. Secondly, it can glow pink and red if it wants to. And thirdly, do you know what? I don't even really know how to explain it to you, so maybe I'm just going to show it to you. Wait, what? What is that we are approaching here? Um, let's take a closer look. Oh, it can inflate. Cool. 
great, said no one ever. Coming into number six, we have this barnacle monster. I have to say, barnacles are my absolute least favorite. You know, in Pirates of the Caribbean, when you meet Barnacle Bill, that's my literal nightmare monster. A barnacle on my face. Ah! So, in the spirit of how much barnacles turn my stomach, I want to show you this utterly bizarre monster that washed up on a beach in New Zealand. News networks were dubbing this creature a monster, and it is easy to see why. So, this is a boatload of gooseneck barnacles, and they're attached to something. They're long necked barnacles, and they certainly look weird. Do you want to see them up close? <laughs> okay, so we know the explanation. It doesn't mean the thing that washed up wasn't any less scary because bleh. coming into number five, we have the lamprey. No! I'm running out of ways to say no. I guess there is only one way and no. You may have seen images of lampreys floating around the internet. They make for shock thumbnails, but actually, these fanged demons are no clickbait. They're very, very real nasties of the ocean. They're primitive eel like fish from the North Atlantic and the Baltic. Sadly, though, they have actually invaded the Great Lakes of the United States and Canada. They're a pest. Anyway, do you want to see inside the mouth of this devil on earth or ocean? <laughs> yep, they are terrifying. Just as terrifying as the thumbnails, right? How do they eat? Well, they are parasitic and they bore into flesh of their prey, sucking their blood dry. Brilliant! Ho <laughs> ho! Coming into number four, we have the anglerfish. Nope. Do you want to see a lovely picture to brighten up your day? Of course you do! Let me show you! Wait, what? No! That happy fisherman has dragged up an anglerfish from the ocean, and these are, I mean, gross, right? Horrifying. Do you want to see what it looks like when it hasn't been bested by a pesky human? You got it! Here it is. And another? Lovely! That is a female. But do you want to know what happens with the males? Do you want to know how they breed? Basically, the males are much smaller and they're parasites. They attach themselves to the back of the female and then they impregnate her without her noticing. Aha! Once he is attached to her, he basically dissolves into her body. Nature! Ain't it beautiful? Back with the unexplainable at number three, we have the Montauk Monster and the Brooklyn Bridge Monster because they might actually be the same type of dead thing. A grotesque dead animal washed up on the shore in Montauk in the American state of New York in 2008. Now the monster looked kind of like a cooked dog with a beak. It had cryptozoologists going absolutely wild. Now a similar unexplained creature washed ashore on the Manhattan facing side of Brooklyn in 2012. The pictures are kind of awful, so maybe close your eyes for a second. Ah, that's really sad. I feel really sad. Another unexplained washed up monster at number two. What could this be? It's definitely more fishy than our number three. Like literally, what is this? This terrifying fish was dragged up from the ocean by a Russian fisherman in 2017. It became a social media sensation. Roman Fedorstov has become Instagram's most famous fisherman. What an accolade. He has over 510,000 followers, which is crazy. Although none of them can tell you what this creature is. It's terrifying. That's all I can say. Also terrifying are all of the other creatures that he has papped and snapped and uploaded to the gram. None such as terrifying as the blobfish though at number one. <laughs> Mr. Blobfish, he scares me, but actually, I think I love him. <laughs> Look at his repugnant, creepy face, but yet there really is something weirdly cute about it, and I think that's what scares me the most. <laughs> These are a deep sea fish that live off the waters of Australia, Tasmania, and New Zealand. To me, the blobfish kind of looks like a bladder. A bladder personified. It looks like it acts. Basically, it floats around with little energy and effort, swallowing things that pass by. It's like the Mondays of the ocean. He just looks really glum. I get it. It'll get better, Blobfish. Can you imagine being the fisherman that brought up the Blobfish for the first time, honestly? It has been voted the ugliest creature in the world, but honestly, I actually think that I'm somewhat here for it. I mean, I'd never want to touch one, but I do love that they make Blobfish pl plushies. Seriously, look at it. Look at the sushi one! I think I actually might need it. I'm so confused. 
I'm so confused. So guys, that was the top 10 scary creatures pulled up from the ocean. What did you think to this list? Which creature would you least like to come face to face with? Let me know in the comment section down below. And also don't forget to let me know if you're pro ocean or no ocean, or if you've never seen it. I love reading your comments. To prove that point, I'm gonna read some comments from a kind of similar list. It is the top 10 scary Bermuda Triangle stories. A lot of water, by the way. Game Girl said, my dad says when he was in the Navy around 19 years ago, he sailed through the triangle and nothing strange happened to him. Honestly, a lot of people sail through it every day and planes fly over it every day and nothing happens. It just seems to be like a rare thing in the same spot. Jason Pack said, I think that a UFO crashed down there and is using a powerful magnet to pull down metal objects and make repairs to the ship. And the light like Christopher Columbus saw was the crash landing. Ooh, aliens. I like any theory that starts and ends with aliens. And our final comment, Lion Air Gaming said, I love most amazing top 10. I've been watching your videos for quite a long while now and they make my day. All of the videos are very interesting. I love Rebecca, she is such a sweetheart. You're not wrong. Keep up the great work and I hope you hit 5 million subscribers. We will, it's happening soon. Like, I don't even know if it will have happened by the time this video goes out. Maybe, fingers crossed. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Please do leave a comment so I can reply in a future video. Let me know what kind of content you would like us to make next and let us know how you want us to celebrate 5 million. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate. Do check out the links in the description for our Instagrams. Once again, please do leave a thumbs up on this video and share it with a friend. I'll see you next time. Bye.